Hi friends, hope you're having a great night. Uh, tonight I just wanted to uh, drop a quick video about things that um, I really feel that if you are exploring the world of narcissism and trying to arm yourself against these people spiritually and emotionally, um, just some terms that you should be aware of. And you might be um, very well versed at this point. Um, maybe this is one channel out of a million that you've already seen. Um, and so you've heard you know, some of these terms, um, wonderful, um, stick around anyway, maybe you'll hear a couple more that you, um, that are new to you. Um, if you are brand new and like your eyes were just opened and you're like, what the heck am I dealing with? This is going to be a great video for you to, uh, kind of get your bearing, um, and figure out where to start, um, what to explore, and that will lead you down a path, hopefully, of um, getting more and more information so that you can protect yourself, protect your heart, and uh, not take things personally um, so you can recover and move on. So um, first thing I want to uh, bring up to you guys is the difference between a covert and an overt narcissist. So covert, just real quick, it's going to be somebody who's sneaky, you don't know, um, there's going to be a lot of um, uh, just backhanded insults, a lot of gossip, a lot of things that you don't know um, that they hate you. You don't know that they are angry and you don't know about the rage. Um, you just think that you're dealing with somebody who might be a little needy, um, might guilt trip you, um, you do a lot for them. Um, but you don't see the web of deceit. Um, that's going to be when you're dealing with that covert narcissist, and yet your whole world is like falling apart, and you don't know that it's basically sabotage. Um, and then the overt, um, so the covert's going to be more of like uh, manipulative parents. Um, it's going to be more just the sneaky, snide, um, underhanded, backhanded stuff, okay? Um those are going to be really, really devastating to discover more and more about because you really trust these people. Um, the overt narcissists are going to be much more aggressive. So you've got somebody who's passive aggressive, manipulative, guilt tripping you, all this kind of stuff to control you in a subtle way. Um, and the overt narcissists are going to be the ones that are just like, you know, for sure they're trying to control you. Um, you're going to see a lot of the rage, um, narcissistic rage. Go ahead and um, Google that one. Look on YouTube for videos on narcissistic rage. Um, it's not just getting upset with you. It is on a whole nother level. So um, yeah, so the overts are going to, you know, think about like just significant others that are very controlling, loud, physically overbearing. Um, it doesn't have to be guys, it can be girls too. Girls can be very aggressive and very mean. So guys out there watching these videos, I've got your back. I believe you. Um, and yeah, so covert and uh, overt narcissists. Then you want to definitely look into uh, toxic narcissistic rage. Okay, um, they'll give you plenty of examples so that you know that when you're crying and you're just like this petal of just emotions and just devastated and they're like, oh, you're such a crybaby. It was nothing. It was just a fight. You can go back and hear other people's stories and say like, that's not normal. I'm being groomed to think that this is normal and this was just a fight or just an argument, but this was way over the top. So um, those are really good ones to start off with. You also want to make sure that you are looking into gaslighting. Um, gaslighting, triangulation, uh, look up a narcissist and their money, the narcissist and your money. They love, love, love your money. So um, yeah, they're just like users. So make sure you look into that and don't feel guilty or bad for setting up boundaries. There's a really great book, um, Dr. Henry Cloud, and he wrote it with, um, I believe it was another Dr. Uh, Townsend. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong or not giving proper credit, but there's there's two. I believe they're two psychologists. They both wrote this book together. Um, Dr. Henry Cloud and I'm going to say Dr. Townsend, um, and it's called Boundaries, and it gives lots and lots of uh, examples of how these kinds of manipulative, controlling people overt and covert, um, how they manipulate their family family members. So it's a really great one. And it also um, might offer you a little bit of reassurance 
to uh, trust your gut because what the narcissist has been doing for such a long time is getting you to trust their version of reality as opposed to what your eyes and your ears are processing and that gaslighting and they will just emotionally beat you up or just play dumb and you're like am I going crazy did we not have this conversation no it's gaslighting and it's intentional and it's to make you um, basically believe them over your own eyes and ears so those are really really important to get figured out so you stop getting like played um, the triangulation is a good one to explore especially between siblings um, triangulation is where you know, the narcissist sort of starts these jealousy triangles and um, it doesn't have to be between you know you're like not making my husband jealous with my ex-husband or anything like that. It can be that, um, or somebody at work, you know, just jealousy games like that. It can be with your significant other, but it can also be between siblings. So a quick example of that would be my mom comes to my house and she criticizes everything she sees in my house, the way I talk to my kids, the way I talk to my spouse. Uh, she criticizes the way my kids are acting, the way my house looks, the what I prepared for dinner. If I prepare dinner, I'm stupid. You know, if I didn't prepare dinner, I'm lazy. But it's just a critique, a constant, constant critique. And then at the same time, she sh so she's showing you this super, super hard side of herself, very demanding, very hypercritical. But then she's going to go gushing on and on and on about my sister and what a wonderful sister like what a wonderful mother my sister is and what a wonderful wife she is and how much she loves her husband. So it's designed to create jealousy. It's created, um, it's designed to create division. So divide and conquer, divide and conquer. So if there is bad blood that is um, instigated between me and my sister and we are no longer talking, then we can't talk to each other it cuts off the lines of communication. And so my sister and I aren't talking to each other because of something my mom lied about um, through a smear campaign. Smear campaign, you wanna look up smear campaigns. But there, it's gonna be some sort of drama that's created by this wannabe puppeteer. And it's designed to create division so that we don't communicate. So if we're not communicating, we can't call her out on her lies because we're only getting one side of the story. And the one that's left with all the control and all the information and just trying to be a puppeteer is the narcissist. So they're going to do that with a smear campaign. They're going to do that with... Um, Faking the smear campaign can be very aggressive. Like, I hate your sister, she's so horrible, or I can't believe your sister, she's just like openly aggressive, or it can be quietly sneaky aggressive with fake um, uh, concern. So, fake concern so that I can bring up problems, like, so she could bring up problems or the narcissist can bring up problems with this other person that they want to gossip with, but they get to keep themselves sounding like the saintly person. Uh, look up the religious narcissist because my mom is a religious narcissist, so she seems very, very wholesome. She seems very family-oriented, but she is a tornado of destruction. She is the ultimate homewrecker coming through to trying to create division between myself and my husband, between my sister and her husband, between my adopted sister and my adopted sister's husband, uh, between the children. She just destroys families and yet gives off the, you know, vibe of being concerned and I don't know what to do and she doesn't listen to me, but don't tell her I told you because she'll be so angry and you know her temper. So just backhanded stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so that's pretty much something to kind of think about, get you started. Um, there's lots more to explore. I welcome you to like and subscribe to uh, my channel. Um, and I love your comments. I love your stories. Thank you so much for opening up and sharing those with me. I think they're really helpful. 
um, it's helpful feedback for me because then I know that I'm speaking about subjects that you are interested in and that you can identify with. So that's super helpful for me. But also for our friends in this community that don't have that support, um, that aren't sure, and they're maybe in a different stage of their journey that you're in. And so when we share, when we get this abuse out into the open and there's no more secrets about it, we can sort of expose each other's um, narcissists, like our narcissist, like my narcissist did these things, and then you find out like, oh, well, that person, that person's narcissist did it too. So it's not like a personal thing. It's not just specific to my family. This is just a scheme and a tactic that they all do and they all use and I'm getting played. So if you're sick of being played, you're sick of all the lies, you know, start with these key terms, really dig into them. Lots of great YouTubers out there sharing very openly their um, experiences. And um, yeah, like we're here together. And I, I, I hope that this video leads you to something else that leads you to something else. And then you sleep a little calmer, a little more, you know, get a little bit more rest, get a little bit more peace in your life and helps you to let go of the past and all the guilt and the shame that goes along with these, the trauma of this narcissistic abuse. So hope you're having a great night and I'm here if you have any questions and I look forward to your comments. Please like and subscribe if you like this and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.